Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Forza Motorsport to talk about wheel settings. So uh, a lot of people have been trying to figure out wheel settings. So I do have some wheel settings that I am getting comfortable with. So I'm going to show you the as goes today. And we're going to do a little sliding here in this M4 because these settings do make the wheel not feel as light in the center when you start transitioning or chucking the car sideways. So let's get into it. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll the description box below. Let's do it. So before we start with really anything, we need to take a look at my pit house software. So what we're running in my pit house app is we're running, of course, road sensitivity at 10. We're running at 70%. I am on the R12, so I'm running at 70%. If you're running an R9 or something like that, you might want to bump that up a little bit higher. We're running wheel speed, max rotation. We're actually going to bump that up to 80. I'm or sorry, 70. I had it at 60 and it was okay, but we're bumping it to 70. Wheel spring uh, is at zero, dampening at 20. And in advanced, we have max output, no inertia or 100% inertia, and wheel friction of 20 and the rest off. Everything else I've kind of left the same. So that is in our pit house software. So now in our actual uh, game software, for everything, of course, we have no dead zones. I'm running a little bit dead zone for handbrake and uh, a little dead zone for clutch to try and prevent some weird clutch dropout, but we're going to bump that up a little bit more. So for this, we're running 30% vibration or 30 vibration, 100% feedback scale. This can be turned up or down based on the wheelbase you have if you want more output or whatnot. We have self steer alignment at 110, mechanical at 150, 120 for pneumatic. 120 for road feel we have 50 for load sensitivity dampening scale we have at 60 71 centering spring 50 50 and 50 so this is what i've been running recently and i've kind of liked how it started to feel so we're going to do a little bit of laps here in some of these s curves so you guys can kind of get a feel of what it does because the wheel does rotate and it does get a lot of grip as it's pretty stiff there now when I chuck it, it rotates itself, and it doesn't get, it gets a little light, but it doesn't get super light, and I still have actual feel in the wheel. Unlike before, when I didn't really have any feel in, sit in the wheel, when the car was sideways, it gets a little light with the tire deformation and stuff like that, but it's not as bad as before when I first started, when it just felt like dead. Like there was absolutely no feeling in the wheels at all. That was really too early. And this car also is on stock suspension, stock car, no drift suspension or anything like that. But see, the rotation snap back of the wheel is actually quite nice. Like I said, I do still have feel right here, so it's not completely dead. I still have some feel, and you can kind of feel when it starts to uh, straighten back up and everything. So it's starting to get there and starting to feel a lot better. So we're gonna be fine tuning it more. If you guys have some settings that you think work better than what I have or something that you think would work better and I should try, let me know down in the comment section down below because I'd be very curious what people are running on their setups because this is starting to feel quite nice. Ooh, almost missed that. And like I said, this is just a bone stock car. I don't have any mods into this car no suspension nothing this is basic suspension this isn't even drift suspension that's something we're going to be getting into in other episodes with full builds i do have one car uh with some drift suspension on it but it doesn't really have the power so we're going to bring it out just to try it and see what the real difference is but you can see the wheels nice and rotating it's rotating kind of freely and it's not super like stepping around. So let's grab that other car. I'm gonna go to exit to main or event menu. Yeah, I know I'm gonna lose. Lose that car. And we're gonna select the car that I have. And that would be a Subaru. Where are you, Subaru? No. 
so this BRZ that uh, I have does have drift suspension in it. So if we go to custom upgrades and performance and we go to... Oh wait, performance and handling. Duh. So we do have drift suspension on it. But the car doesn't have a lot of power to it. So that's one thing that is not really there because we don't have any engine you know conversions or anything like that to really bump up the power so we're going to kind of uh bump up tire pressure in order to get a little uh little little less grippy in the rear we'll go 36 and 40 and we'll see what this does, how this feels with drift suspension, because like I said, the other car was a bone stock M4. This car has actual drift suspension on it, so it's definitely going to feel different. And right there's that lack of power. You can definitely feel when you have uh, a lot less grippy tires on the car. So we're gonna go full send into the first turn with this, but bringing out the settings that I'm currently using here in Forza Motorsport. They do feel good for racing and stuff too, so that's definitely a plus as well. It's gonna be a really fast send. Understeer, really understeer. I kind of blew out the front tires. So that light feeling is definitely there when you uh, overdo your front tires. So I think that's one thing that really needs to get used to. Because I think, yeah, see, when I try to counter back the other way, it does get a little bit light. And that's just, I feel like I'm getting a lot of understeer. But overall, the settings are working pretty good. And I'm going to be fine-tuning more and more as, as I continue to progress in the game. BRZ can get it though. Yeah, I definitely got a lot more steering wheel than M4 would have lost it. This little BRZ can definitely uh, can definitely throw down some. Close gear. Nope. So let me know down in the comments if you guys have figured out some really good settings because these are kind of what I'm running to try and get rid of that light feeling in the center. But from what I know, it does get better with. Uh, different tires and stuff, which do we have? Actually, now I think about it. Do we have tires that we can throw on this car? I believe we unlock tires, but I want to check. I didn't want to go too grippy of tires because obviously without the power. Let's see. Tires, what do we got? Pirate compound. Street. So I wonder if we could put some street tires on. We're gonna have to subtract a few things though. Get ourselves off of the you know negative totals. I think what we might do is minus the rim widths. We'll do that. And we will keep, we will go street tires, but we're still high, so we're going to subtract the rim width. We're still a little bit high. Oh, well, let's take the cage out. There we go. That should be fine. Get rid of the cage. We should be okay. So now let's see what's going up to sport tires. If that changes that little weird feeling in the middle. But I hope you guys are enjoying Forza Motorsports. If you are, let me know down in the comment section down below. So it does get rid of it a little bit. So tires do have a major factor in how these cars feel. So that's definitely something totally different. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll find the box below. Like I said, I appreciate you guys coming back for more videos here on the channel and subscribing if you are a subscriber. If you guys have some wheel settings that you guys are working with, let me know down below because I'd be very curious to see what other people have come up with. That, that's not good. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys on the track.